Hi, this is Alex Helmbrecht, the Sports Information Director at Shattern State College, and I'm sitting here with Shattern State men's basketball coach Brent Bargan. The Eagles played two tough games at Western State and at Colorado Mesa last Friday and Saturday on the Western Range of Colorado. It was one of their final road trips of the season. Uh, began with an 81 to 66 setback at Western State, and then that was followed by a 68 to 37 setback at Colorado Mesa on Saturday. Uh, coach, looking at <coughs> looking at the game against Western State. The Mountaineers really kind of entered the game struggling. They had lost seven in a row, but they, they came out shooting lights out. They hit over 58% of their shots. Uh, the Eagles hung with them, though. They, they, you guys shot just over 36%. Uh, got a big game from Zach Bargan, who finished with 20 points and seven rebounds. Uh, but it was just tough to overcome that, that shooting advantage that the Western State had. Well, you know, they've had their starting point guard and their starting forward gone for the last seven games. And so... Uh, one of their best players in the conference, one of the leading players in the conference had been suspended for three weeks and he hadn't played. So when they were on a seven game skid, he hadn't played. So uh, they lose seven when he's not in and they bring him back and he wins. They win two games in a row. And so, uh, and, you know, that's a, a big difference when you take one of the leading leading scorers and leading players in the conference out of a lineup that's going to do that to you. I thought we had a good first half. I thought we competed pretty well in the first half and did some nice things and uh, for whatever reason, in the second half, uh, uh, Western State, you know, upped the ante a little bit, and I thought we matched it to some degree, but we just weren't able to get over the hump. And very frustrating to think that we weren't able to finish a game that we were right there. I think it was a four-point game at halftime. It was uh, probably another frustrating second half for you on Saturday against Mesa. Uh, the Mavs led 29-25 to at, at half, but the Eagles came out and were only able to hit four field goals and four free throws in the second half. Uh, as you mentioned yesterday at the uh, Shattern State Booster Club, your guys were getting good looks. The shots just weren't going in. Well, Mesa does a good job in defending the paint, and uh, you know they're a good defensive team. I think yeah, I looked in the, when you take the lane uh, shots in the lane on a shot chart. Mesa shot twenty eight shots in that area, which is a roughly five feet from the basket. They shot twenty eight shots from there, and they were nine nineteen of twenty eight. We shot 24 shots from there, which is pretty good for us. I mean, I thought we did a good job of getting to the basket and getting the ball where we wanted to get it to. We were 7 of 24. Well, that's the difference in the game. That's 24-point difference in the paint, and uh, that's the difference in the game. And we really struggled in the first half. I thought we really guarded well and did some nice things, held them to 29 points or did a good job of defending the lane, did a good job of uh, not giving him any extra offensive rebounds and no extra looks, and I thought we did a great job of rebounding. Really, in the second half, we did a pretty good job defensively. I mean, we hold both teams under their average for the season at their own floor. Uh, the problem was offensively, we're just really, really struggling right now of being able to finish around the basket and uh, getting any kind of continuity at the offensive end of the floor. Well, the Eagles will play their final homestand of the 2012-2013 season uh, this weekend. They host Colorado Christian Friday at 8 p.m., Colorado Mines Saturday at 8, uh, and, and then following the Saturday game, there will be an FCA a Fellowship of Christian Athletes fifth quarter. I'll talk to Coach about that here in just a couple minutes. Uh, but, but Coach Bargain, looking at Colorado Christian, a, a team obviously you're familiar with. Uh, you played them in, in early December in Lakewood, suffered a 69 to, or excuse me, a 79 to 65 loss. Uh, and they've been playing a lot better as of late, winning five of their last seven. Uh, what what do you know about the Cougar? Is excuse me, what do you know about the Cougars, and what will it take for you guys to get the win? Well, they're kind of a triangle offense. Uh, they're very good at home, seven and five at home, and have played really really well and beaten some very good teams at home. Uh, they're a little bit different team on the road of being two and eight, and. Um, they have kind of an equal opportunity offense. They're scoring about 70 points a game, just under 70, and controlling the pace of the game pretty well. Uh, the triangle offense is a can be a pretty much an equal opportunity offense, but they do a good job of getting certain guys' shots. Uh, they don't have, I think they're at, they got two guys averaging 12 points a game and one at nine and a half, and then the rest are down around five. So. Um, you know, I think though it's we gonna have to guard two or three guys pretty well, and I think we match up well with those guys. I just hope that uh, our guys will come out hungry and be ready to compete and be ready to play and get a home win. As coach mentioned, they do have two players in double figures. Kyle Weaver leads Christian at twelve point one points per game. 
and, and then Michael Brown is at 11.8. Uh, they are a different team on the road, though, 2-8 and eight overall and 7-5 and five at home. So that should be a, a nice contest here for uh, the Eagles to play on Friday. And then that'll be followed by a game against Colorado School of Mines on Saturday, uh, a game that you played earlier in December uh, you, that was a very physical game. Colorado Mines uh, ended up winning 72-67. to 67. Uh, The Eagles had a, a couple opportunities there at the end of the game. Uh, maybe a, a foul call here or there didn't go our way. Uh, and so I know that this is a game that you and your coaching staff and probably your players are looking forward to. Well, you know, Mines is a great team. They're very good defensively. Uh, they've got great interior players. Um, my shot, I think he had 31 the other night uh, against Western State. Uh, Wages has played really well and was uh, on ESPN last week for breaking a backboard at Metro State. And, uh, you know, Moeller is a kid that we did a good job on the first time around, but is a very good scorer and a tremendous shooter and um, has been a, a guy that's uh, up in the, those three kids are at 17, 16, and 15. And they all do a great job of scoring within their system. Uh, coach does a good job of coaching them. They're strong, hard-nosed kids and um, probably a little bit more physical, a little bit bigger than what we are as far as girth and uh, strength. And And we've had some pretty good battles with them. And I thought we had a very good opportunity to win at their place. Had a very good first half. And again, just didn't finish the second half very strong. Mines has been struggling as of late. They've lost five of their last six, and they're similar to Colorado Christian. They're two and eight on the road, nine and two at home. So certainly a different team uh, than than at home than they are on the road. Uh, as Coach mentioned, Trevor Wages was on ESPN. Uh, I think he was the top five or the number five player of the week uh, broke a backboard at Metro State. So hopefully that doesn't happen here. We might have to move some uh, bleachers around to get another backboard out if that does happen. So. Uh, Coach, following that game, uh, the, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes is hosting a fifth quarter. I know that that's something that you and several of your players are involved with. Uh, talk to us a little bit about what that is. Well, the University of Nebraska has a Nebraska tour, a Husker tour is what they call it. And uh, they, t- they have a big FCA group um, in Lincoln, and they take their kids, student athletes, and, and basically tour the state and have them uh, – talk to and, and um, give witness to a number of people, a number of campuses. And we haven't had them up here before, and uh, we were fortunate to be able to have them. I know that Amani Cross, who had a, a stellar freshman year as a running back, was is going to be one of the individuals that comes out. And then Michael Rose, who's a young man who's from Kansas City, who's – supposed to be one of the greatest uh you know linebackers in the program or best linebackers in the program is also going to be coming out and so you know we're excited about it basically what will happen is after the mines game and the men's game on against colorado mines is there'll be about a 15 or 20 minute delay when they get the kind of gym to settle down and we get the radio taken care of and those types of things and then uh those young uh, those individuals will uh, young men will be able to um, communicate to the crowd anybody who wants to stay uh, it is going to be in armstrong it is in the gym it is free there is no charge anybody that comes to the game will be able to to be able to stay and attend for for free and i know that they'll be able to witness a bit and be able to communicate and, and talk and have some interaction with whoever wants to stay and then i think there may be a uh, an autograph session with those individuals when that thing is over and it's just a great thing for um people in our area to, to hear from some kids that they may look up to, especially some of the younger kids in the community to look up to and, and know what drives them and what their main focus in life is, is something bigger and, and better than just a, a, an athletic event. Okay, Coach. Well, thank you for that information. And uh, it should be a good weekend for Shattern State men's and women's basketball. Of course, the, the women will play the same two teams the men do, uh, Colorado Christian on Friday and Colorado School of Mines on Saturday. Best of luck to you. Thanks, Alex.